Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Sarah and today I'm very excited because we are going to be exploring a group of birds with a very unusual beak. Not only is this beak larger than any other bird beak in the world, it also has something of a hanging bucket attached to the bottom of it. Today, we're gonna to be learning all about pelicans. Let's get into it. Pelicans are a genus of birds with eight different species. And I'm wondering if some of you have maybe seen a pelican before when you visit the ocean or a lake or a pond. We almost always find pelicans living near water, both salt water like the ocean and fresh water like lakes and ponds. And we do find pelicans on every single continent except for Antarctica. Compared to lots of other birds, pelicans are quite large. The largest species of pelican is the Dalmatian pelican. Their wingspan, so their wingtip to wingtip, can measure up to 10 feet across, which is almost twice as long as I am. And while their large size might seem very impressive, I would argue there is something even more incredible about them. Pelicans have a long, narrow beak with a pouch that hangs down beneath it. The male pelicans tend to have a longer beak than the females do. The Australian pelican has the longest beak of any bird in the world. On the males, it can measure about a foot and a half in length. That's pretty big. And all pelicans, like we said, have that pouch that hangs from the lower beak. That pouch is called a guler pouch, and it's made of stretchy skin that kind of becomes like a flexible bucket. A pelican's long beak and guler pouch allow it to scoop up its favorite food, fish. They do have other things on the menu as well, like crustaceans and amphibians and sometimes other animals as well, but having this nice big mouth allows them to either scoop up a whole bunch of little food all at once or a very large piece of food like a large fish all at once as well. They even have a little hook on the end of their beak which is really great for gripping on to slippery prey. Most pelicans hunt from a seated position kind of floating on the water. The brown pelican and the Peruvian pelican can both hunt from diving into the water from the air. Some of you may have heard rumors in the past that pelicans use their guler pouch to store food or perhaps to carry their chicks, but neither of those are true. However, there is something else kind of unusual that pelicans use their beak for. Pelicans use their long beak and guler pouch for thermal regulation. Let's talk about that word for a second. Thermoregulation is the process of an animal controlling its body temperature. Therm means temperature, right? That's why we use a thermometer to measure the temperature. And regulation means kind of how we control something. So thermoregulation is how an animal controls its body temperature. Pelicans use their beak, especially their guler pouch, when thermoregulating because it allows lots of heat to escape from their body. Similar to how a dog pants and allows all that heat to escape from their body, pelicans will flutter their guler pouch in the wind. We call it guler fluttering. That allows heat to escape from their body and keeps them nice and cool. While pelicans have adaptations for helping them to stay cool, they also have adaptations for helping them spend so much time in water. Like many other aquatic birds, pelicans have webbed feet that helps them as they're kicking, swimming across the surface of the water. Pelicans also have waterproof feathers, which is very important because if their feathers got soaking wet, they wouldn't be able to fly. Their feathers are waterproof because they spread a thin layer of oil all over their feathers, and oil wicks away water. But this raises the question, where are they getting this oil? What does it do? Where does it come from? The oil that pelicans and other birds rub all over their feathers is called preening oil, and it comes from their preening gland. 
preening is the word that we use when a bird takes their beak and they kind of comb through their feathers. They're organizing them, they're cleaning them, they're plucking out any damaged feathers so that new healthy ones can take their place. We said this oil comes from a preening gland. A gland is an organ that lots of animals have that produces some kind of substance. We have glands in our mouth that produce our saliva. We have glands in our skin that produce our sweat. Birds have a gland near their rump called a preening gland that produces an oil. Birds will take their beak, they kind of dunk it in the oil, and then they preen their feathers. They go through all their feathers, and as they do, they coat each feather in that oil, which helps to make them waterproof. Most pelican species are gregarious. They live in a group, they often hunt in a group. There are some species that prefer to hunt alone, like the Dalmatian pelican, but for the other species that hunt together, they can work as a team. They can herd fish all together at once. They even sometimes hunt with other species like cormorants. Living in a group can be very helpful for the purposes of hunting, but it's also helpful when it comes time to find a mate. Pelicans are typically monogamous, which means they only have one mate per breeding season, though they might have a different mate the next year, and so they're gonna have to do something to try to attract a mate. Like many other types of birds, pelicans may change during the breeding season in the way they look or the way they act to try to help them attract a mate. Many species of pelicans will become brighter or more colorful during the breeding season. Sometimes the skin around their eyes or the color of their beak may change. Sometimes, like for the brown pelican, their feathers may change. Brown pelicans get bright yellow head feathers during the breeding season. For some species, it's not so much about a color change. The American white pelican will develop a large knob on their beak during the breeding season to attract a mate, and then when the breeding season is over, the knob falls off. After breeding, most pelican pairs will stay together and work to care for the eggs and then their chicks. But first, they have to build a nest. Some pelicans nest high up in the trees. Other pelicans will nest on the ground. Most pelican species are laying two eggs at a time. Both parents help to care for them. They actually incubate the egg or warm the egg using the webbing on their feet. When the eggs hatch, both parents help to care for and feed the chicks. However, even though pelicans often lay two eggs, usually only one chick will survive to adulthood. The chick that is bigger and stronger and has a better chance of surviving is going to get more attention from the parents and probably be the one chick that survives. As the pelican chicks get older, they are often cared for as a group, kind of like pelican daycare. They form a group of chicks called a crush. They are protected by all of the adults, but they are only fed by their own parents. After about three months, the pelicans are big enough, strong enough to be a little bit independent, go hunting for fish on their own, and they can live to be 25 years old in the wild. However, unfortunately, sometimes the pelicans don't live those full 25 years. Most pelicans experience threats of some kind in the wild, anything from loss of their food source, pollution like oil and plastic in the environment, and getting entangled in lost fishing gear. All of these threats make it hard for pelicans to survive. So one easy thing that you can do to help pelicans and all sorts of other wildlife is the garbage, the waste that we create, make sure that we're putting it in the proper place so that it does not end up in the ocean or places where wildlife are going to feed. All right, you guys, thank you so much for spending time with me today to learn all about pelicans. If you'd like to learn even more, do quizzes, activities, project, please be sure to click that link below, visit our website, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Thank you very much.